Hello everyone. Welcome to another session of circuits and networks. In today's class 15 under two port networks, we'll see uh, parameters on parallel connection. How to obtain any parameter that is impedance parameters, admittance parameters, or any other parameters when parallel connection. Especially we are going to deal with admittance parameters because admittance parameters are famous for parallel connection as well as you can easily obtain admittance parameters when the circuits are connected in parallel. How we will see? For example, you have this circuit and you have this circuit, a T circuit and Pi circuit. When they are connected in parallel, how to obtain the final output uh, that we are going to see in the name of admittance parameters. So here you are going to describe a small uh, information about parallel connection. You have this network 1 and network 2 which are connected in parallel. You can see input voltage V1 and output voltage V2 are parallelly connected to 2 port network 1 and 2 port network 2. Where I1 is the input current, I2 it is also the output current. Now when input current is entering at this particular node, this node is shared by two branches. One branch it is going to network 1 and the branch is not going to network 2. So in fact, I1 can be treated as I1 dash plus I1 double dash from Kirchhoff's current law. Similarly, I2 can be summed up to I2 dash and I2 double dash. The parallel voltages are V1 and V2. So that is what we understand by looking at the parallel connection for the given network of circuit. Right. Let us see how the equations are framed under admittance parameters. So for 2 port network 1, if at all I want to frame the admittance parameters, the admittance parameters from the standard derivation can be changed as I1 dash and I2 dash in terms of V1 and V2, like Y11 dash, Y12 dash, Y21 dash, and Y22 dash. For network Two, from the same formula, I can frame I1 double dash and I2 double dash in terms of V1 and V2 as Y11 double dash, Y12 double dash, Y21 double dash, and Y22 double dash. Overall, when I'm going to look into the two port network one and two simultaneously, I can apply KCL for I1 as well as I2, which is nothing but I1 dash plus I1 double dash. Similarly, I2 is equal to I2 dash and I2 double dash. So what if I frame the above equations in the equation of I1 and I2? So I1 and I2 is nothing but is equal to I1 dash plus I1 double dash and I2 is equal to I2 dash plus I2 double dash. So I'm framing these values in terms of voltage V1 and V2 so that the overall admittance parameters for the given parallel circuit is obtained in terms of Y11, Y12, Y21 and Y22. That is admittance parameters of parallel networks is the sum of admittance matrices of individual two board networks. Let us see how this equation framing is useful in order to obtain the solution for the network shown in figure 1. So we can see a pi network as well as a t network. Both are connected in parallel. In fact, V1 is giving its supply over the input side. V2 it is giving its supply towards the output side. And the standard currents from input and output are I1 and I2 respectively. So we have seen uh, the framing of the equations of admittance parameters. Let us employ the same technique individually in order to obtain the admittance parameters for pi network as well as t network. So what we have, we have two nodes over here where I1 and I2 are entering, where I1 is entering and the leaving currents are I1 dash and I1 double dash. Similarly, the, when you look at from the output port side, I2 dash and I2 double dash are the leaving currents of this particular node. Fine. So I1 and I2 are framed and we have already seen from the standard equations of I1 dash and I2 dash in terms of V1 and V2 
as well as i1 double dash i2 double dash in terms of v1 and v2 with admittance parameters of y11 dash and so on y11 double dash and so on so we are going to employ or in fact we are going to inspect the circuit individually for that so i'm taking the network which is in pi shape and i'm assuming the currents which are flowing into this particular pi network as i1 dash and i2 dash so when the output port is shorted generally what we do in the terms of admittance parameters when the output port is shorted this 3 ohms goes off because it becomes dummy in nature because of this short wire so in fact 2 ohms and 4 ohms are in parallel so the r equivalent when you look it from the input side will be equivalent to 8 by 6 in fact i can write v1 is equal to 8 by 6 i1 dash do you agree right now y1 1 dash will be equivalent to i1 dash by v1 at v2 equal to 0 whose value will be nothing but equivalent to this is 8 by 6 so the reverse will be 3 by 4 because 6 by 8 is equivalent to 3 by 4 same ends. so let us frame this parameter as equation 1 also let us frame i2 dash in terms of v1 first i2 dash from current division rule will be equivalent to this is the branch current we require the total current is i1 dash and it is going opposite to i2 dash so that is why minus over here for 4 ohms the opposite branch is 2 ohms divided by the sum of the parallel branches resistance so this will lead you to minus 3v1 by 4 why 3v1 by 4 because of equation 1 we have obtained i1 dash in terms of v1 so i am just replacing i1 dash in terms of v1 as 3v1 by 4 this minus we are keeping as it is and already we have 1 by 3 what is 1 by 3 this is 2 by 6 so 2 by 6 means what 2 multiplied by 3 it becomes 6 that's why it is 1 by 3 so this 3 and 3 will go off and y21 dash which is nothing but equal to i2 dash by v1 at v2 equal to 0 whose value will be equal to minus 1 by 4 siemens so we have estimated the parameters which is nothing but y double 1 dash y21 dash as 3 by 4 and minus 1 by 4 respectively now let us take the input port side and let us short circuit it. When this is short circuited, these two ohms will go off and this is how the parallel circuit will remain. Now we have V2 in terms of I2 dash as well as I1 dash. In fact, when I am going to calculate R equivalent for this circuit, looking at from the output port, I will be obtaining 4 parallel to 3, nothing but 4 into 3 divided by 4 plus 3, whose value will be nothing but equivalent to V2 is equal to 12 by 7 i2 dash that's why we have framed i2 dash is equal to 7 by 12 v2 in fact y double 2 dash will be equal to i2 dash by v2 at v1 equal to 0 whose value will be equal to 7 by 12 siemens now 7 by 12 siemens is the value of y22 dash similarly from the current division rule i1 dash can be framed in terms of i2 dash as minus I, I2 dash 3 by 7. Why 3 by 7? For 4 ohms, opposite resistance is 3 and the parallel sum is 7. So that is why this value. And from equation 3, we know that I2 dash is equal to 7 V2 by 12. So I'm going to substitute that. And what is the remaining answer? The remaining answer of Y12 dash is equal to I1 dash by V2 at V1 equal to 0. This 3 and this 12 goes 4 times, so minus 1 by 4 Siemens. So this is the equation 4. So we have estimated, in fact calculated the values of admittance parameters by pi network, whose values will be 3 by 4, minus 1 by 4, minus 1 by 4 and 1 by 2. Let me frame this equation as 5. Clear? Now, 
let me take the second network that is the network shown in t shape shared by v1 and v2 simultaneously and i have to apply the admittance parameters technique in order to obtain the admittance parameters so for that i'm short circuiting the output port on this side in fact if i have short circuit the input port the circuit looks like this so these two circuits are clear okay when these two circuits are clear let us find out the r equivalent looking at the input side as well as the output side when i'm going to take the r equivalent looking at the input side r equivalent 1 will be equal to 4 plus 2 parallel to 3 whose value will be equal to 26 by 5 ohms likewise when i look at from the output port side the 4 and 2 are in parallel and they are connected in series with 3 ohms so r equivalent 2 will be equal to 3 plus 4 in parallel to 2 whose value will be equal to 13 by 3 ohms so once we obtain r equivalent for these two networks then we can easily obtain the parameters that is y double one double dash which we will equal into i1 double dash by v1 at v2 equal to 0 whose value is nothing but 5 by 26 because we got v1 is equal to 26 by 5 i1 double dash so that is why y double 1 double dash is equal to 5 by 26 events and also i2 i2 double dash is equal to minus i1 double dash for this branch the opposite is 2 and the sum is 2 plus 3 in fact, I1 double dash is equal to 5 V1 by 26 multiplied with 2 by 5. So, I2 1 double dash will be equal to I2 double dash by V1 at V2 equal to 0 whose value is equal to minus 1 by 13 Siemens. The similar logic will apply for this network. After framing the equation 6 and 7, I am getting Y2 2 double dash is equal to I2 double dash by V2 at V1 equal to 0 whose value is nothing but 3 by 13 Siemens. I hope you have understood because we got V2 is equal to 3 by 13 I2 double dash and that is why we got the value of Y2 to double dash is equal to 3 by 13 Siemens. Likewise applying current division rule of I1 double dash which is nothing but equal to minus I2 double dash per for the branch required of this resistance, the opposite is 2 and divided by 4 plus 2, that is what 6. In fact, this gives you the value of I1 double dash in terms of V2 as minus 1 by 13 Siemens. So, let me frame these equations as 8 and 9. And now, I will use the equation 5 and I will make use of equation 10, that is this equation with fifth equation. In order to frame the overall remittance parameters given by y11, y12, y21, and y22, which is equal to this value, to just summing up these values. So you can see here you have 3 by 4 and this is 5 by 6. You can directly add them because the current uh, in parallel circuits get divided. So we can easily add these two values, and that is why the values are divided like this and they are added like this. So overall, I'm going to get the admittance parameters for the given circuit which is equal to 49 by 52 minus 17 by 52 minus 17 by 52 and 127 by 126 so these are the admittance parameters for the uh, network which is given to us so this is identical to a parallel connection which is shown in this parallel circuit i hope you like this video please share among your friends subscribe to this channel and please 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 press the bell icon for the future notifications thank you